We thank Allah Almighty always. Especially Juma is a tradition that started 1500 years ago. So every Juma that someone is keeping the guidance and the obedience of gathering on Friday, leaving everything and gathering on Friday, the blessings for this day multiplies every week from almost 1,500 years ago. Allah Almighty sends from the heavens, from the earth, everything in between blessings on those people who leave everything and hasten to the mosque and Allah Almighty addresses the common thinking people he address uh, the jinn that are present and he address those who whom there are obedient servants to Allah Almighty and everyone has to hasten to the mosque because they also are ordered to hasten to the mosque because every person, every jinn, obedient jinn, every servant, true servant of Allah Almighty, Allah Almighty sends for them sends them something. You have to understand that 90% is inspiration, 10% expiration. That means Allah Almighty says leave everything because nothing is more valuable than coming to get inspirations to your soul to be able to give your mind and your body direction for a stronger connection to your perfection. You have to understand that when someone is digging for gold in the earth, all of the earth looks the same. It looks the same. But Allah Almighty inspires someone to dig here. It's the same thing with the oil. When you're digging for oil, every place, the land looks the same. It looks the same. There's no distinction. Same kind of molecules, same dirt, same ingredients in the dirt. But Allah inspires, dig here. All oceans look the same. They look the same. How can you distinguish and know where the pearls are? But Allah inspires those to go deep here. Same with the individual that Use electricity to bring about lights. Those human beings all look alike, but Allah distinguished that human being through inspirations to bring lights.
You have to understand that the greatest thing that's happening is within us, in ourselves. See, the thing is that you have to understand that guidance, when we get guidance, guidance is an inspiration to us. If we take guidance openly, it's an inspiration to us to direct ourselves to our treasures. Allah, guidance is you. Why Allah say leave everything? People come to Juma. Allah is saying, I'm giving you you. The jinn. Why are you telling the jinn? The good jinn to come here. I'm giving you you. And those servants of Allah, those highly evolved servants of Allah, Allah is giving them, they know. But Allah is giving them more of who they are. You have to understand that when we live a life of lack and not having, we live a, li a life of unhappiness, we live a life of poverty, we live a life of anger, we live a life of pride, we live a life of arrogance, we live a life of hatred. It means that we are not where we should be to get what we need to have to do what we need to do. Something is wrong. We're in the wrong place at the wrong time. So guidance keeps you on your mark. It keeps you on your target. If you had a job and your job was downtown in a certain building and you went out to the suburbs every day and you put in eight hours, you're not going to get paid from the job downtown because you weren't there. You were out there working somewhere else and they're not going to pay you. But you don't work there. And the place where you're supposed to be not going to pay you because you weren't there. So on your application they told you where to go. You were instructed where to go, where to be, where to, where to, where to uh, 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 show up. It's just that simple. That's where your income is going to come from. You have to learn how to mind your business. Understand what I'm saying when I say mind your business. Because when you're mining your business, you are mining in the right place to reach your treasures. You're busy mining somebody else's business. Other people's business. Your treasures are not there. You have to mind and where the treasure is. This is what we don't get. So we take the guidance lightly and we always end up a day late and a dollar short. Living a frustrated life. What is wrong with us? What is it going to take for us to realize that we have everything that Allah Almighty has sent us here with? The earth had the treasure. The gold is in the, is in the earth. Diamonds in the earth. But you have to be guided to it. Even though it looks the same, you have to be guided and to know that that is the place where you mine the business of reaching those that gold or the diamonds. It's really simple. What is who has made it complex? Who are we listening to? What are we listening to? Because what you listen to can either bring you abundance or it can bring bring you damnation. It can bring you misery or it can bring you happiness. Why are we happy? Why is it that people continue to go through the same old problems of not having? A lot of Almighty says there are some people that hear and disobey, and there are some people that hear and obey. So it's not just another, to, it's not enough to hear. And you got to hear when you hear.
deal with obedience, you're going to hear yourself. You're going to hear what is you. You're going to hear what you need to dig for your, your treasures. You're going to know how to mind your business. Otherwise, if you listen and you don't obey, you're going to be digging somewhere else. And you may be digging there forever and not reach anything. That's all it is. It is just that simple. Wisdom is such a common sense, simplistic way of living. But who's making it complex for us? It means that we're listening to our ego, listening to shaitan. Just like our grandparents, Adam and Eve, was listening to Shaitan, telling them that there is something greater than where they were. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's really unbelievable. Now we are born in a place in which they fell to where they were. Now we have to mind our business to get to where they were before they fell. They were there. And that's why they warn us, don't fall into the footsteps of Shaitan. Don't do what we did. Shaitan is our vile enemy. Don't let your ego be seduced. And digging somewhere else. And minding someone else's business. And not minding our own business. Because it's an inside job. Don't you know where you are is what you attract? You look at the people's lives. <laughs> I never have anything. So if it ain't one thing, it's another. Well, that's you. If you ain't one not something, if you ain't one thing, you're another. You're attracting that in your life. You want to track what is you, what is of you. Stay on track. Stay on track in yourself. Stay disciplined. See, because if you look for your treasures outside, you look and you're looking everywhere. Everything you're looking at outside of yourself is not of you. It's not lawful for you. Because you may look outside yourself with a treasure. It may be something that's going to affect you within yourself. The world should be lived and affected by within you, not outside of you. Because when you are minding your business within and you're receiving those inspirations in you, you're going to attract to you what is of you. Because everything you see outside of you is not lawful to you. You look outside, the, the men see the women, they like the women. That don't mean you could have any woman. But within your inspirations, Allah says to you, this is the person, this is the woman for you, this is the man for you. And even if they have not physically been manifested, you are going to attract them. Even your life, your, uh, your, 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 uh, for your uh, provisions. When you're minding your business, what happens is that you realize that the way that you're going to earn your living is a way that's going to be tailor-made to who you are and whose you are. You begin to attract that. And when it manifests, you stay there and you see how your abundance starts to grow. Allah wants us to be balanced. You can't be balanced looking outside of yourself and taking things outside of yourself and trying to make it to be you. Allah didn't create this stupid. Allah's not a stupid God. What has made us stupid in life? That we got to beg for crumbs. We have no structure in our families, no happiness in our families, no happiness in our lives, no abundance in our lives, no abundance in our families, no abundance in our community. We are the culprit. Everyone is important. You go to the ATM machine. You have money in the bank. You have a P 
pin number. If one of those numbers is missing, you don't put the you put the wrong number in your pen, you don't get your finance, you don't get your money. That's the importance of a number. You go looking for an address of somebody and, and you got the wrong address. <laughs> Maybe one number off. Look at the importance of not knowing having the right number. You're in the wrong place. Every human being is valuable. You have to see yourself as something significant and valuable. And that's why you have to mind your business. The grass is not greener on the other side. Drop your buckets where you are and make it happen for your life. Stop coming up short. Like you were just born yesterday, grown 20, 30, 40, 50 years old, 60 years old. Start with yourself. Mind your business and you will attract your abundance that Allah has sent you. Allah says everybody comes with their own provisions. You have to look to Allah Almighty. When you look within, you're looking for, to Allah Almighty to help you. Oh my Lord, if there, you don't guide me, like Prophet Ibrahim said, Oh my Lord, if you don't guide me, then I won't be guiding because he was look, be guided because he was looking for Allah Almighty in the sky. The sun is God, the moon is God. It was setting and fading out. He says, Oh my Lord. If you don't guide me, there is no guidance. He told Moses. Moses says, oh, Allah, I want to see you. He said, you can't see me because you're not minding your business. Take off your humanity and your ego. Study within yourself and on the horizon. That's how you're going to see me. Because when you study in yourself and you mind your business and you reach the treasure within yourself, you're going to see me everywhere, in yourself and on the horizon. We ain't got it yet. How in the hell we keep coming up short? How does that happen? Then you start to blame other people. Father, mother, well, I was adopted. Oh, this one, they ain't treat me like they treat the other ones. I didn't get the right education. I'm black. I'm short, I'm dark, I'm poor. I'm anything that I'm not supposed to be. It's not difficult. The treasures start with you. Allah says you change what is in yourself. I'll change what is outside of you. We don't get that. That's hard to comprehend. We're not minding our business because we think very little of ourselves. Who told you that? Who trained you that you're nothing? If a number is important in your life, if those numbers don't have the same sequence in itself and one number is missing, everything blows off. What about a human being that's in this life? You have importance here, and if you're not doing your very best, someone else comes up short. And we're to blame. That's why Allah says, leave everything and hasten to the mind so you can be guided, to so, no, so you know who you are, so you can learn how to mind your business. And when you're minding your business, you're going to teach other people how to mind their business. It starts with the individual. Then it starts in the home and the families. Then the families grow into communities. Then a nation. The society now is ridiculous, crazy. Because people are not minding their business. They ain't everybody else's business. We say that was a song talking about Rubber Neck Jones. Minding everybody's business but your own. What is that? That's insanity. That's what it is. You keep digging in a place where there is no treasure for you. The inspiration says dig here. Okay, maybe the, the, the earth is a little, little hard. Find a way to do it. We're not having 
need lights in here. If someone continued to give up and say, no, it don't work. They just found out that many ways it didn't work. They found out the ways that weren't them. We don't know what doesn't work for us yet. That's crazy. Don't you know that's insanity? Well, Lord says we're the best of people involved for mankind. That ain't just you taking some shahada and saying you believe in the lines of possible. That's those people that are minding their business. They're digging for their treasure 24-7. And the Lord is in, 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 inspiring them to continue, continue to dig and to reach to their treasure so they can attract that that's outside of themselves to make themselves comfortable and to be able to do the life of this work and the life of this life, the next life and this life while they're in this life. That's why it's no death for them. It's death for us because we're not in somebody else's business. You can't eat. Minding somebody else's business. You can't be happy minding somebody else's business. You're never going to be happy. You're never going to have anything. We're going to die busted, disgusted, and can't be trusted. That's the way you want to live. That's the way you're going to die. And we're asking Allah Almighty, please, don't let us live to be stupid. Because we die like that. If you live stupid, you die stupid. And it gets worse. So we're begging Allah Almighty for the sake of this holy month, mm. for the sake of all that is good and all the prophets, especially beloved Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, mm. not to be stupid people, but to be the best of people evolved for mankind. And joining what is good and forbidding what is evil. Forbidding is evil is being in a place you're not supposed to be or thinking something you ain't supposed to be thinking. And rejecting guidance, that's what evil is. Because it brings evil. It brings association with the enemy of Allah Almighty, the ego and shaitan in this world and our desires. That's what we're inviting in our lives. Don't you know what hell is not having what you need to have to be able to have what you need to have? That's what hell is. And it starts in this life. Who are you listening to? What are you listening to? Are you applying what you listen to? How is it reflecting and showing up in your life? It should show up. Everything show up in your life. If you are doing what you're not supposed to do and you're getting bad things showing up when you have listened to guidance, you're going to blame guidance because you listened to it but you weren't obedient to it. Now you're blaming guidance for your demise. Change your thinking. Just be disciplined. Stop living as stupid people. Law didn't create us to be fools for nobody. We're here to represent the law almighty. Woman lost her feet fuck you. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alham. A'udhu billahi min shaitanu jeen, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Please, when you, you have a humor, don't get up. It disturbs, it takes, it brings shaitan, always makes a way to bring the energy down. comes and he taps somebody to move or to say something or do something that's out of order. So we're talking about who you listening to. Keep your discipline, keep your spot. But Shaitan came in the spot. We're asking Allah to forgive us. One minute after you can talk. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين